The table that we ate on, they had a, a tablecloth. Most mm -hmm. of these Dutch, uh, they have uh, big tablecloths that drape down almost to the floor. So that's where Sonia used to, and that's where Sonia, when the German soldier walked in, she didn't have time. She, he was, all of a sudden he was there. And uh, so she couldn't hide anymore, it wouldn't have been helpful anymore anyway. But yeah, they could hide. What we have in Holland too is the, uh, what do they call a bed stay, but it, it's like you open cupboard doors and there is a bed in there. And you could, that's where you sleep in, your parents or your grandparents, they sleep in there. There's a, a full bed in there. But underneath that, is a, is a space that we store uh, like potatoes in, in the winter months. We put potatoes in there. And if we needed potatoes, we got a bucket and we got some potatoes out underneath the bed. Now we had a, a false floor in there with potatoes on top, but the, it wasn't all potatoes. We could, she could go in there uh, because you had at at times you had what they call in those days a razzias. Uh, the Germans would block off a, a village like Aarschwout there, them on one end and at the other end they would block it off so nobody could get in and out. And then they go door to door, checking. And uh, so then when that you, you got a bit of an advance warning, that's where Tante Esther used to go down underneath uh, the bed and then a board over the top of it and, and, and throw some potatoes on that so that it looks like a, what used a, 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 a very thin layer of potatoes the rest was. But that, that's what we had if we had to hide, really had to hide her.